Hey guys, so this is the second video. I thought this video was important to make. Now, Magic the Gathering, the lore is actually extremely racist because there is a few tribes, elves in particular. I remember the whole background story of Lorwyn was a Riss was not a good enough elf because I think there was something wrong with his horn or maybe he didn't have two of them but he only had one and they were really racist like like pretty close to a party in Germany that I can't mention uh, in terms of how they behaved and how they acted so the whole Lorwyn block was and even the concept of tribes right where does the where do you draw the line between what is racist and what is not now these seven cards invoke i would probably say most people agree that this is probably going to be banned at some point and it was banned cleanse stone throwing devils paldes gypsies i believe was banned for gypsy i looked at the pictures of all of these and you know the gypsies i mean i don't know i didn't find anything too offensive but again i'm not the person to be offended right jihad crusade and in prison now of course magic the reason that your high school teacher or your not your high school your elementary school teacher or middle school teacher would always throw magic cards out wasn't actually due to racism although i'm sure if they saw invoke they would probably <laughs> that would be kind of weird they would think that you were racist probably but it was because of satanic worship, which has always followed magic. Demonic tutor, demonic consultation, demonic horde, demonic this, demonic that. I mean, you have demonic attorney. What was that one black card that draws you eight cards? Contract of the Dead. Contract of the Doomed? No, Contract of the Dead. Uh, we have Doomsday. The whole concept of the color black is kind of negative. And then you have the circle protections. There's so many cards in Magic the Gathering, given the early days where they, you know, obviously times have changed. You cannot make the same jokes that you made in 1990. If people were to make those same funny jokes that I told in elementary class in 1990, I would be labeled a racist probably. Even though that was acceptable then, it's not acceptable now. But the cards come back there. The cards are like Demonic Tutor, Grim Tutor. Um, these were the cards that your teacher didn't like because they were satanic. And there was always Crusade, I always felt was kind of a weird card, title name. Um, and especially after you learn about the Crusades in history class. When you're younger, you don't actually know what the Crusade means. It's just a magic card. But then when you learn about it, you're like, oh, that's kind of weird that we have a four of magic card that plays like this. But okay, cool. And then Jihad. This Jihad is actually not a very common card. So it's not one that you would come in contact with every day. My point is magic is very racist. Um, there is an article right now on the top of Reddit written by an Asian writer for Channel Fireball. And he concludes any tweet that Magic the Gathering is unequivocally a race or Wizard of the Coast is unequivocally a racist company. And then he presents multiple evidence, uh, including something Efro said about African-American artists. And there's not any of them, apparently. Uh, there's like... According to the one African-American artist they could find, there's either one to four African-American artists, depending on what you count, or how you count um, the artwork they do. And then Amaze, you know, when you look at Amaze, who's an Asian-American, and then you look at the other white cis males, and then you got Lee Sharp. I totally forgot about this one dude. I, uh, Aaron, right? Aaron. These are old cis white males. It's almost like everyone who loves Joe Biden and they're like, oh, Joe Biden. I don't know too many people myself, but supposedly, you know, a large population likes Joe Biden. But like Joe Biden is a white cis male. Bernie Sanders is a white old cis male. Donald Trump is a white old cis male. 
And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being old white cis male because typically speaking, they govern, they have more money than the rest of us. Um, in marketing, for instance, in my own experience, I'm going to share with you and it might take you by surprise. I do wish that there are more African-Americans in marketing. I do wish that there are more minorities in marketing. There's not enough. Every other marketing agency owner I know is a white cis male. There is one female white cis that I know, uh, but that's it. Um, and the whole thing about that marketing agency was, hey, it's all women. To, which makes sense, right? Then their management, of course, would be women as well. Duh, right? But for the most part, when I interview uh, for these positions, when I work, I white label, I know all the agencies in Houston you're not going to find too many African Americans at management level. And I think that's really a shame. So I do feel like they are being, I don't, I, it's hard to say that they're being discriminated against, but something is wrong. There, there's something that is clearly wrong in my field. And you might ask, oh, well, what about you? Do you hire African American? Yeah, we do. Our newest hire is African American. He's went to school to be a nurse, but then the pandemic changed his career. And now he, uh, He's actually working with me as I speak. We're working on a project about mental health right now for a client of ours. Um, so I'm uploading the work that he did. And uh, he's great. His name is Andrew. He's great. So I don't... It was a little hard for me to really understand the Black Lives Matter movement and why it was important. But once I understood it, it just kind of clicked. Oh... Yeah, because then I look around in my field and who is management or who is CEO of these companies that I'm competing against. And they're not minorities. I can tell you that much. I'm the only minority. And I went to um, Google in Ireland. They invited me to Google. And I love Google. But hey, this is what I'm going to say. It's like crazy to me that like out of what, 500 agency owners that went to this one convention, there was like two minorities, including myself. Well, like, what the heck's going on here? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Because I know many, many talented minorities, African-American, Asian, um, whatever, minority, uh, Hispanic, Latino, and they're not given the same chances in my marketing field that um, white cis males are given. And then to say... The worst offense, I think, is someone like Efro or Lee Sharp or Aaron or Merrill, where they pretend they care, but they do not care. Uh, later on, I'm going to tell you about a minority job fair where no one ever gets a job, and it's really to bolster numbers. And I have proof of this because I went to the said minority job fair in the previous year. Out of the hundreds, if not thousands, of interviews they did, they offered minorities zero jobs from this job fair zero internships zero jobs and at some point as a minority you have to say no i'm not going to go to this stupid job fair anymore and my white cis um job counselor she was female obviously was a woman kept sending me to these minority job fairs i'm like no i don't want to go there's no real jobs you know it just makes you guys feel good but whatever right so if you don't stand for something, then yeah, get at the blank out, right? Get the F out. Bye, <laughs> guys. Oh, I mean, if you don't actually change your hiring practice and all you do is talk about hiring, but then you hire and then eventually you hire white cis male anyway, uh, the, the problem is deeper than just, oh, these cards have to be banned because they depict racism. No, no, no. The problem is, Crusade, if you really thought it was racist, it's been reprinted quite a bit by a certain marrow. So what is the core problem? Maybe the core problem isn't the card. Maybe it's a team making the cards. Hi, guys.